I was just about to do an order on Wool Warehouse and I thought, hold on a minute Tina, this is silly. So what I was going to do was for the socks for March, it's daffodil yellow. So I thought, right, I need to get them ordered, otherwise my yarn isn't going to be here in time. I want to do DK socks, so I'm going to hold yarn double. But then I was looking through, because it's daffodil, looking through the yellow, and so I was thinking, like if I'd have different types of yellow going into orange, then I could mix that in and make it interesting. And I was excited to do that, but I couldn't find the ones I liked. And so I was looking through, trying to make it work on the selection of yellow yarns. And then I thought, hold on a minute. I never, I've never thought I want yellow socks. I know I want red socks. I think that was Anita from Gaga Knits did red socks at Christmas. And I thought, I need red socks, but I've never thought I need yellow socks. So I thought, why am I ordering yellow yarn, which I know then I will make the order up to £25 so I get free postage. So I spend £25 on something I don't actually need now when I've got lovely yarn, even some gifted yarn that I've just been given waiting to go. So I thought, no, I don't have to do the year of socks every month. I can hop in and out. So I'm just going to do some DK socks and use what I've got. So yes, so I have decided, I think I know what I'm going to use. So I'm going to go, let's go into the thing. Can I just say, hello, welcome to my craft room. My name is Tina. You're very welcome here anytime. This is a craft room vlog and this is how we roll around here. <laughs> so let's grab some yarn out of the store. So I was gifted this lovely yarn last week. It's a Nord yarn, my favourite, Drops Alpaca mix sock yarn. And so what I wanted to do for my March socks, as I was saying, is I want to do a DK. So these are four ply, so I need to hold them double. So what I'm thinking is, because I'm going to need 200 grams for this. So what I'm thinking is maybe have start off with just plain grey. So hold two double plain grey for the cuff. Then when it goes into the leg, have the grey and the pink. Then when it comes to the heel, just have the pink and then grey and pink and then just pink for the toe. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. So we'll see if I can get all that out of. Well, it's going to be 100 grams each sock, isn't it? So that's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to opt out of Year of the Socks. I'm still going to do a sock for March, but I'm just going to do my own colours because, yeah, this makes me excited. So if I've got something, a pattern and a yarn that makes me excited, why well, spend the money when it's in stash? So that is what I've decided I'm going to do. I'm going to save my money. <laughs> I'm nothing against yellow, if that's your favourite colour. I'm nothing against it. As I get older, I do like yellow more and more. It's a nice, happy colour, but it's just... I just haven't seen one that I've wanted to buy so far, so it's silly to just buy it. You may be wondering, Tina, why have you got the Christmas pudding picture out now? <laughs> And I shall tell you. So I mentioned before in my videos that my stepdaughter's getting married in May and I wanted to cross stitch her. I'm cross stitcher as well. So I wanted to cross stitch her a little sampler, but I wanted it to be something simple because she's not one to want fussy things or anything. So I thought just a simple one. And then she sent me through because she wants me to do a little reading and it's a very little reading. 
And I thought this is perfect. I can put that onto a cross stitch and put their names and the date on it and just keep it really simple. So my thoughts have turned to that. So I got this out because this, this, is, this is an Emma Congdon one and it's got a lot of writing. So I was just looking for inspiration because she is the queen of cross stitch writing. <laughs> So I was just looking at the different fonts and thinking about how big it's going to be because I want to keep it small. I don't want it to be this size where it's like in her house. I want it so she can tuck it away if she wants to. Um, so I was looking at that and then that got me to looking. I've got a couple of her books that I'd highly recommend if you're a cross stitcher. I've got the first one, Cross Stitch for the Soul, and the other one's Cross Stitch for the Earth. And they are all charts that have different writing, but mainly they're big. They're like that. They're going to be too big. The lettering and everything's too big. So then I pulled out this book, 500 alphabets in cross stitch. So you'd think that would help, wouldn't you? <laughs> Not a lot. So once again, when you start getting the definition of the letter and making it fancy, then it just starts getting big. So I'll show you what I've come up with so far. So I'm using this sparkly white fabric. I've got lots of it. So I wanted to do some testers because even though I've got, I've got it here. Oh, let's have a look. Even though I've got graph paper, so I've been trying to chart it out a bit, it still doesn't match up with seeing it in real life, what it looks like on the fabric. So I've just been testing some on the fabric. So this is a white sparkly fabric. It's 32 count even weave. And so I've just been testing out what I like. So I like the size of the quote. That's the longest line of the quote. So I know how long that's going to be. And so then I was just testing out their names. But I don't know whether, I don't know whether I want to actually do it as blocks or do the first letter and then just do it like this like you do black work so it's more of a back stitch rather than but then it might be too small but I'm just thinking I can make it more curly and decorative so that's where I am in there I'm not really sure at the moment but I've made a start I've got until the beginning of May, but we're away on holiday a lot in April. So that's why I need to crack on, but it shouldn't take me too long because that one line didn't take me too long. So that's something else that I have been working on and it's on my mind. But what it has done when I was doing that little bit, it has made me get my stitchy bug back. But I don't know how much is that is avoidance because I want to start something else on cross stitch that I've got a kit for. And I'm thinking, is that because that's easy to just do that rather than work all this out? <laughs> but it's got to be done. I really want to do it because she is, she enables me. She's bought me things for Christmas in the past and um, my knitting journal, she bought me this time. She's bought me kits. She's bought me cross stitch things. So. She's aware of what I do, and so I wanted to say so thank you for that and wish her well with that personalised one. But what I also found when I was digging out my um, all my different cross stitch things, I found this that I packed away, and I thought I need to make this into something because I finished this. This is a Bothy Freds one. It this one was a kit, and it's another kit like this that I wanted to do. It's a fox. I thought now we're coming into spring I need to do something with this so first of all I was thinking of framing it up like I usually do but then I thought actually it would look really nice in the dining room I've got a couple of chairs I want to have like a decorative cushion on so I thought if I've got this one and I do the fox one and then use a couple of fat quarters that are similar I could do a, um, a cushion cover and have these two cushions in there. So when we go, I'm going to the NEC to the craft show in March. So I want to get some fabric to back these. So I will be starting that Fox one, but I've got to do my gift one first. 
but yeah I should pull it out now hold on let me pull it out of the wardrobe <laughs> so this is the fox one so they're by bossy threads and it comes oops, as a kit with the chart the floss and everything that you need and yeah it's really oh it's got a glare on it for some window There you go. So it's poppies and a very happy looking fox. <laughs> it comes with that fabric, the same fabric, which has got printed spots. I'm not a huge lover of this fabric. If it wasn't for this one that I'd already done, then I think I'd change up the fabric for the other one. But because I want them both in the same room, I'm going to use that fabric. It's nice enough to stitch on. It's just not my favorite. So I'd switch it up for something a bit more me. But yeah, I'm happy to do another one so they match. And I don't dislike it, it's just not my favourite. So yes, that is in the future. But for now, I have a coffee and I need to get on with that baby blanket gift knit. I'm nearly finished. I'm starting to panic now that I'm running out of yarn. <laughs> So I didn't follow the pattern, follow the pattern. This is how it should look. That's if you use one of the Karen cakes. It's an Aran weight. I'm using just Starcraft Aran acrylic DK. And I just had three balls, 300 gram balls. So all I've got left is literally a dust bunny of one <laughs> that much of the other and then I'm on a final ball it's really hard to show you because it's all on a circular that's quite small but I started off with the grey went into the light blue then into the darker blue and then I thought to finish off so it'd be like a border to use up I would stripe, so I've had got three of the darker blue stripes, three of the lighter blue stripes, and then I thought I'd finish off with the grey, but I need to do some pearl rows to finish off, like a garter, so it doesn't flip up, and um, I've only got this bit left, and they're really big rows now, so um, I didn't realise I was knitting away watching TV last night and I didn't realise how small the ball was getting in my yarn bowl. <laughs> so I only got to do that bit and then I can start the purling. So I'm going to start doing that and yeah, I'll show you when I've, oh, I've got to cast off as well. Is that going to be enough to cast off? Could I cast off in a different colour? I'll be back to you when things have turned bad, probably. This is going to be serious yarn chicken. I've got about 360 Aran weight stitches to cast off. I've got this little bit to use. I'm wondering, is this a thing? Can I cast on? Uh, can I cast off with two different yarns to make it go further? It might look good. I'm going to give it a try. I've decided to pull it back, but I am going to do it again. But this is the. Let me get the camera. Okay, so that is the front which I'm not liking, but then that is the back that makes sense. So I think I'm going to try it the other way around because I'm supposed to do a pearl cast off, but I don't mind if it rolls up to that ridge because that would still be, if it's just a little roll, that would be okay, wouldn't it? So yes, Tina. <laughs> We can fudge this. Together, we can fudge this. So, let's just get organised and have another go. 
I think I'm on a winner. I think this is the one. <laughs> so it might flip up, but we we should take it as it comes. That's how it's looking now. It's a lot neater, isn't it? Uh, as I say, I'm hoping that that band of garter is going to stop it flipping up. But time will tell. But it looks neater anyway, so I shall go with that. I might actually pull this off. I've got that bit to go. That much yarn. I think I'm on to a winner. <laughs> unexpected. Very unexpected. I'm finished. <laughs> Relief. Where's the scissors? Snip there. Snip there. Pull you both through. And I'm done. I can now release my shoulders. <laughs> Definitely. I was like this. The tension but it's finished so I'm going to spread it out on the floor and see what it looks like so obviously it all needs blocking and hopefully that will stay out more once it is but I think that's a nice little blanket and I think we can safely say that I couldn't have used any more of that yarn if I tried. <laughs> but yes, I am very, very lucky that I got round that whole edge. So I need to block this and see what we've got. And I can um, weave in the ends. But yeah, I like it. I'm really pleased how it turned out. So that is the baby blanket done. But now I need to move around because I am aching from the tension. I have got excellent news. There is a daffodil that's pink. Let me move up. I'll put a picture here. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called, but there is a pink daffodil. You can buy bulbs for pink daffodils. So I am going to still say that this pink yarn is my daffodil socks next month so i can take part so i'm really pleased about that so that is the top news but the question is now that my priority blanket has come off the needles what am i going to be having as a priority now because we're coming to the end of the month so i want to finish some things off so i don't take them into next month so i think my priority now is going to be the dahlia sweater so i've literally got one arm to do for this so i can get this finished before the end of the month so this is going to be my tv knitting in the evenings and then any daytime that i've got to spend i will be knitting on vixen's dress because this, once again, is nearly finished. I've only got a few more rows to go and cast off. So I need to get this finished because she's desperate to wear it for the podcast on Sunday. <laughs> so that's going to be my daytime finishing off knitting when I can concentrate a bit more. And then I should do the dahlia. I should use the chunky dahlia for my TV knitting at night. So, yes. That is my plan for now. So thank you for joining me for this little vlog. And I probably will, there might be another one up before the weekend. So look out for that. So take care. I hope you're having a lovely week and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.